the Parde story is the story of the four rabbis who were delving into the more mystical level of things, and had uh, three of them had one went crazy, one died, one became a heretic, and Rabbi Akiva went in and came out. And I think that what the danger of that what was the danger that they faced is that as you go in and explore these questions that I had mentioned, really from a Kabbalistic perspective, every step forward every on a spiritual path is really a deepening capacity to bear paradox. But until you acquire that capacity to bear that paradox, it puts you through all kinds of changes of having to reconcile things that are impossible to reconcile. And if you, and, and it's precarious because then you can move, fall into heresy, which is what happened to Acher. But I do think that as science and as our world has deepened in so many different ways, so we are kind of on sure ground and are able to deal with certain of the more Kabbalistic abstractions and not lose our center. But I do think that there still is a danger that exists, like the danger that existed for them in terms of going above your head, in terms of your exploration of ideas that you can't hold the paradoxes of them. I think that the main, the main um, paradox or dilemma that remains a danger is the one of, of how it could be. I mean, Kabbalistically, there is an idea, there is the mystery of sin, and that if it exists in the world, then Hashem designed it, and that it will be revealed that somehow in the end of the line that all those things that we and anyone did that was wayward was actually part of Hashem's, was, was a plane out of Hashem's will in some mysterious sense. Kabbalah is, is, is the, I mean, Hasidut is the mystical, is the Kabbalistic integrated into the more exoteric aspects of the practice. And, and you're needing to kind of hope, stay grounded in the practice and all of its moral, ethical requirements, and also to kind of bring a more um, exalted and um, spiritual sensibility into them.